Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at whether natural gas is the answer to future energy supplies using the Amazon as the example. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Natural gas accounts for about a quarter of global energy supplies. It is the third largest source after oil at 31% and coal at 27%. Russia has the world's largest reserve of natural gas, followed by Iran and Qatar. Natural gas is formed over millions of years from the decomposition of plants and animals on the seabed, hence the term fossil fuels. Over time, this decayed material is buried by layers of sediment, which get very deeper over millions of years and turned into hydrocarbons due to the huge pressure or the compression and the heat. Natural gas is colourless and odourless and is found trapped deep underground in shale rock, which can be extracted by drilling wells down into the layers of sand, silt and rock. The gas either comes to the surface by the force of pump water or under its own pressure and then is pumped into pipelines where it is transferred to a refinery to remove unwanted impurities and then onto ports to be shipped overseas. There are many benefits and drawbacks of natural gas. Let's start off with the benefits. Natural gas is much cleaner than other fossil fuels as it emits fewer toxic chemicals like sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxide and almost half the amount of CO2, so therefore contributes less to air pollution and climate change. It is abundant with large supplies across the globe. Technology is making it easier to extract and it's easy to transport through pipelines and over land and sea by tanker. There is also a lower risk of environmental accidents than with oil transportation. However, there are lots of drawbacks. Fracking is used to extract natural gas and you can see the process on the screen. This is where high pressure liquid made of water, sand and chemicals is used to fracture the rock where the gas is stored so it can be released. People in areas where fracking has been proposed are worried about the risks of earthquakes and contamination of underground water supplies. It is also a very expensive process. Fracking itself is expensive to do but the infrastructure that supports natural gas extraction is very costly particularly building and maintaining the pipelines. And finally, although there are fewer emissions than some other forms of fossil fuels, it does still produce greenhouse gas emissions, which accelerate climate change. So let's have a quick look at the Kamsia project in the Amazon, which is using natural gas. The Kamsia project extracts natural gas from the Amazonian region of Peru, which is pictured on the screen and it transports it through the Andes Mountains to the coast through a 340 mile long pipeline. The project has cost around $4 billion, but this will be recouped over the 30 year lifetime of the project, and it does have the potential to make Peru billions of dollars if exported. The project itself has boosted jobs and the local economy, and it has provided infrastructure improvements that benefit local people, as well as increasing the productivity of farmland. However, the project was developed in a remote region of the Amazon rainforest, populated mainly by indigenous tribes. The project has had a huge impact on their food and water supplies, as well as making them vulnerable to diseases that have been brought in by construction workers. Additionally, the environmental impacts have been significant. Deforestation in order to make way for the pipelines and other infrastructure has caused widespread habitat loss and building pipelines has also increased the risk of landslides and pollution of streams, which has had an impact on fish stocks in the area. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on extracting natural gas in the Amazon. Thank you for watching.